Hi guys, welcome to the video number 313 and uh, in this video uh, I'm going to actually uh, discuss two very important, very interesting uh, questions with you. Uh, recently actually I have come across these questions, uh, one actually from my subscriber and uh, basically I was trying to, um, you know, I uploaded a video on the Excel test as you know usually I upload the videos on the Excel assignments and the access and the Excel VB assignment so that if you are appearing for any interview you know you can actually uh, see these uh, videos and you can get the idea that basically how the test is designed you know so uh, somebody replied me there I am so sorry I just forgot his name uh, I think his name was Rupesh uh, but really not uh, Naresh I think <laughs> not sure but uh, I really liked uh, the you know the answer the solution he had given that was the another method so that also I have included in this video so that you can see here that uh, uh, how basically uh, the question looks a little, little tough but uh, it is a very tricky one and it's a very easy one in fact right so welcome to the channel and if you're watching the channel for the first time this we have 313 videos on Excel Excel VBA access and Excel VBA please go ahead and uh, Click on the playlist and find out all the relevant videos and whatever you're looking forward to. If you're a beginner, if you are the intermediate user or somebody who is a developer, you know, really extremely very advanced, I'm sure the channel is going to give you a lot of lot of knowledge. So in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about those two questions. The first question in front of you is this, uh, which says that now this is your basically a, a string where you have written what is your name and your address. And the question is that how many times we have the space here please calculate the number of spaces in the string so basically you have space here one two three four five and six so you need to count this now I would request you maybe you can pause the video and you can think on that right and you can come out with the solution uh, but obviously because this is uh, something I can't pause the video <laughs> I will not give you time you can pause uh, but I'll directly go ahead and tell you what we need to do now if you know the substitute function in the Excel very nice then if you don't know it, I, I'll, I again, you know, going to tell you about it that what is actually called the substitute function. So, substitute guys is a function which is a kind of a replacement. You can replace anything. My idea is that let us go ahead and calculate the length of this entire string. And you know that there is a length function which you can easily calculate. This also covers the space. Space is going to be counted as one character in Excel. So, we have 34 uh, number of characters including the space. So, this is your total length. Okay, now what we need to do is in order to find out how many times or what is the length of the space, we will actually again find out the length of this string, but this time we will exclude the space. So, what I will do, I will substitute this is how you write substitute, replace existing text with the new text, right? So, you need to what you need to substitute, this is how the formula comes text, old text, then you have the new text, and then you have the instance number. Instance number means that. Uh, you want to replace the first one, second one, third one. If you don't write it, it is going to replace everything. So text means that you go to the text and then uh, old text, obviously it is going to be a space. This is what I will do. It has to be replaced without any space and you simply write these double quotes and this is how it is done. If I uh, write in the instance one, then only the first space will be removed. If I write two, then only the second space will be removed so i don't write to want to write anything you just close it that means that uh, it will be replaced with everything as you can see here right now we need to count this so because this doesn't have the space we have removed the space so i will write here the length function and then finally i will calculate the length of it and this is what exactly it looks like you know and then you can subtract this from this right so this is how guys you can calculate the number of spaces and we can count one two three four five and six perfect right so i can also write one simple function combine i can combine it this length and then you're going to write again length in the length now you will write the substitute you go in this text and then you write the old text you replace it with text like this that's it and you have the same answer right so indeed it was a very tricky one but very simple basically it was all about the logic how how hard you can think on this right because the functions which we have used they are very simple right so let's go to the next one the last question and this is what i want to talk about now we want to see how many spaces uh you know does each string have so basically if you look at this they have three two or maybe no space or maybe one space 
right so again you can pause the video you can think on that i have talked about this actually in my previous video also i don't remember the video number guys i think it was a uh, excel interview questions on the if function you can go there and check that out we used i think the find in the mid uh, left right sort of that right but then somebody replied me uh, i mean subscriber replied uh, uh, they uh, he actually given a, a different formula for that and i really like the formula this is what exactly i'm going to uh, display here so my idea is that uh, if, if we can calculate the length of this entire thing right and then if we again remove the space from it and then we calculate the length so it's very simple if, if your length comes out to be as three then that means there are three spaces if it is going to be count, you know the length comes out to be uh, after the subtraction is two then two spaces if it is one one if it is zero then that means there is no space actually very simple very neat and clean function so i'll write a length this is what we will do i'm going to count the length of it right and then what we will do uh we will write basically the if function here if if the length of this minus length of then you write the substitute function same same task this is how you write old text and space okay now if the difference between them is going to be let's say three then you will write here three spaces okay and then in the false what you're going to write in the false you will again copy the same function i just copy this because if this if there's the difference is not three then it should go ahead and check for the difference of um, two so if the difference is two then what needs to be done then obviously we would like to write in the true two spaces if you find if function difficult if and if then please go ahead and watch the playlist excel if function i have talked about the if functions in very detail right from the very big beginning actually i have talked about there i have explained them so this is going to be my two spaces and then again in the true i will again copy and paste the formula and i would say that if it is um, one then it should give me the one space simple right and if it is nothing then it should say in the false that no space or whatever you want to write okay i close the bracket i click on the yes i want to accept the correction basically it's for the closing bracket and i think uh, we are done with this let me drag this formula and let's have a look here so we got the answer guys as you can see i have the two spaces i have a three spaces no space one space wow very nice right this is and the moment i let's say if i add one more space let me cross check the answer is three space so what we did is we we did actually this we calculated the, uh, calculated the length of the string and then what we did we again you know calculated the length of this using the uh in excluding the space so i substituted in the c5 the space with nothing and then you know it's gonna come as 14 because now 14 means that obviously because your string is aman kumar singh without space so when you subtract 14 from 16 what is left is the you know the space and that's what you have done this right so that was a very interesting very very simple actually very simple actually you know the answer the formula so that's why i thought that let me go ahead and uh, discuss with you maybe who knows in your requirement office requirement you might be facing these kind of a challenges so rather than making that complicated a function you can simply subtract the length and you know you can see the difference if you have more spaces you have to write again one more if so you just see that what is the maximum limit for that right so that's it guys for now and uh, you can subscribe to the channel and watch all those amazing 314 videos on excel excel vba access and access vba i'll see you soon thank you so much bye bye